Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Pathway channel. Today, I will discuss the Verruca vulgaris slide. Other names uh, are common warts or palmoplantar warts, and uh, etiology is the HPV or the human papilloma virus, type 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7, and many other uh, types. It can happen on the palms and soles, face and dorsal hands. And the microscopic picture I will discuss today, I will go from the low power to the high power. So now we are at the 2.5 X. And let's first get some orientation about this slide. So this is the top, or this is the surface of the skin. And this is the epidermis. This area is the epidermis with this hyperkeratosis on top. And then we will go deep, and this is the dermis, this area with the papillary and reticular uh, layers. And this is our ink, just in case if this mass turned to be malignant, so we need to clear our margins. So uh, let's go and describe the Verruca vulgaris on low power first. So from top, you can see here this hyperkeratotic layer. And you can also see here, but we will see it at higher power, this parakeratosis, which is retained nuclei. And also you can appreciate this hyperpapillomatosis that is present on the dermal, on the epidermal uh, surface. Um, if we go at this uh, view here, you can see this is the base of the tumor. And as you can see, we need to notice two things. First thing that this tumor, the periphery is pointing towards the center. This is one thing. The other thing is that it's well demarcated and it's symmetrical. So pointing towards the center and well demarcated. We will go at high power and appreciate this hypergranulosis here with some uh, granules, but let's keep this for the high power. From the low power, I just want to mention here about the dermis. It's not affected by the mass or by the disease. And sometimes the dermis may show some telangiectasia or chronic inflammatory cells, but in this slide, it's totally normal. Uh, let's go at a higher power. So this is the 10X. Uh, and again, just to appreciate here the parakeratosis that is here, and also to appreciate these dense basophilic granules that are present in this layer of the epidermis. And I will also show you some isinophilic granules, but maybe it's more evident on the higher uh, magnification. We can see here also at this power, I want to show you some perinuclear halos that may happen at this uh, layer, like for these cells. These all are coleocytic cells with the perinuclear halos. Uh, I'll go at a more higher magnification. So this is the 40X, and I hope now you can appreciate now these clumps of innumerable large clumps of basophilic keratohyaline granules, these granules, and we can also have these eosinophilic granules together with these basophilic ones. So just in summary, we have hyperkeratosis, we have parakeratosis, and in this area, parakeratosis at high power, we have this, the granular layer with these clumps of basophilic and eosinophilic granules. And most important is the base of this uh, tumor, which is symmetrical and it points towards the center. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.